Hey there, I'm Rachel and welcome to My Sweet Digs. I'm from Maryland, so make sure to keep an eye out for all of my Maryland Easter eggs in my apartment. And before you come in, subscribe down below. All right, let's go. I live in a two bedroom apartment in Harlem with my roommate, Remy. We spend $24.80 collectively in rent and that's $12.40 a piece. I think that's a really good deal. In my last apartment, I was living with three other people and I was spending just $100 less. We get great space, great light, utilities are included. I think it's pretty good. The living room area, I wanted to make sure that it was comfortable and clean, but also inspired a lot of creativity and didn't feel too stuffy because I work from home primarily. My biggest splurge for the apartment was definitely the couch. I saw this green velvety couch on Wayfair and I just thought, well, that's delicious and I have to have it for my apartment. About a 650 bucks, but I knew it would be worth it in the end. I'm happy to say that this is not a television shame household. We have a TV in every room and that's great. So we feel comfortable watching a show together in the morning or in the evening or something like that. But if I want to binge a show on my own, I feel comfortable doing that in my room. I was very lucky when it came to finding an apartment because my boyfriend lives in this building, just 23 floors upstairs. I found a broker on Street Easy who works exclusively with the building. I told him my boyfriend lives here, I really want to live here so that anytime there's an opening available, just let us know before it's even on the market, which is what happened. Even before I moved into this apartment, I still lived in Harlem. I just lived about four blocks away. I just love how this neighborhood in particular still feels like a community. I say hi to my neighbors and I see them walking down the street and I'm not afraid to stop and talk to them. Um, even though the neighborhood is changing and, and expanding, it really has that old school vibe to it. And this is the kitchen. When it comes to the design of my apartment, my roommate and I really did a 50-50 split when it comes to furniture. So she got this dining room table. I think she got it from Ikea as well as the chairs. I've always wanted a bar cart in my place. So when we moved in here, I knew we had to get one. So I have wine glasses, port glasses, martini glasses, whiskey glasses. And usually when people see that, they're like, man, look at all these glasses. You must love to entertain. And I do. I love to entertain myself every night. My first job ever was in the restaurant industry. I actually worked at a fine dining restaurant when I was 16 years old. So I've always wanted to live somewhere that had an amazing kitchen. So I had a separate space to prep and cook while my roommate was in here and we don't feel like we're on top of each other. There's actually too much space. We have some cabinets in this kitchen that don't have anything in them because we don't have anything to put in them, which is a good problem to have. I love a really nice, neat kitchen. Nothing bugs me more than coming in in the morning and seeing a bunch of stuff all over the kitchen. However, I will say that because we have this nice big island, the corner of the countertop is okay for piling things like keys, letters, you know, when you come home and you check the mail, stuff like that. My favorite thing to cook right now is this slow cooked pot roast in a crock pot with a lot of root vegetables like carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic, rosemary, thyme, lemon, everything that makes food tasty. In my last apartment, I had a very large bathroom that I enjoyed. This one, not so much. I would love a freestanding tub because I love to take baths. And then a separate space to shower. I'm quite tall, I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 so I don't really fit in the bath. That feels more of like a kid bathing in the sink, which isn't super fun or relaxing, but hey. This is my room. I work from home a lot. So I'm in my apartment almost all day and I really wanted to make sure that my room was a nice, cozy, zened out sanctuary. The first thing that I wanted to do was fill the room with a bunch of plants. I love plants, I love green, I like it to feel like the space is really alive. I also wanted to keep it quite minimalist so that it feels very relaxing to be here and it doesn't encourage me to make a lot of a mess. I built almost everything in my room myself, the shelves that I did, um, that was a bit of a challenge. I built the shelves with my boyfriend, actually. We built one shelf that holds my TV together, and it took almost two hours, and I thought we were gonna break up. So then a few days later, I was here, and I wanted to put up the second shelf myself, and I did it in like 15 minutes. Maybe I should never build things with him, or 
possibly that experience helped me to learn what not to do. The most sentimental thing in my apartment are all of the different tributes to my home state of Maryland and the city of Baltimore. My favorite Maryland recipe is a cookbook. I like following the recipes from that book and making them my own, which just means adding more seasoning. I also have a Baltimore pennant pillow in my room. There's a Baltimore Ravens winter cap that I actually got the last time I was at a Baltimore Ravens game. I think that's all of the Baltimore things in my room. I would describe my home style as a zened out, minimalist, creative pad. Natural tones, woods, white. My home style was definitely inspired by this family that I babysit for downtown. The dad is a photographer and the mom is an artist, graphic designer. They have a really nice, warm, industrial, minimalist, chic apartment that has a lot of industrial piping and wood shelving, yeah. natural tones. It's not a ton of color in their apartment, but I was very into that. Living in the same building as my boyfriend is actually perfect. I feel like it's a nice compromise of sort of living together, but also having my own space. It's a nice baby step before living together. I met my boyfriend, Barry, on Tinder. We actually went to this French restaurant that's just two blocks away called Maison Harlem for our first date and it was really cute and really nice and now we go there all the time for brunch and dinner and we sit at the bar and the staff knows us pretty well, so that's fun. I went to school here, I went to NYU and I've lived all around the city. I've had great apartments for different reasons but this is the best combination of everything. I love this space, I love that I'm only sharing it with one other person. This is my favorite apartment that I've ever lived in. Thanks for watching My Sweet Digs. To watch more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.